a lot of uh, individuals ask me, how do I get on your radar? And it's a very good question because as I said, I probably get a few hundred inquiries per week, per week and that obviously grows exponentially to the point where uh, it's pretty hard to stay on uh, a recruiter's radar. In addition, there are 90,000 recruiters in the US, so it is statistically impossible for you to even endeavor to stay on all of their radars. But I can tell you the best way to do it. If you find a recruiter who works in your specific market, in your specific industry, and you know that you better be on her or his radar, the best way is to help them solve a search. So when they reach out to you, who do you know, whether it's email, phone, text, smoke signal, whatever it is, help them solve that search, which means they get the search done by introducing them to the perfect candidate, even if it's not you, and they will owe you for life. And so many candidates don't return headhunter calls or, or read something and say, I'm not interested, and they just move on. This is a great way to befriend a headhunter. Now, obviously, you gotta use your time wisely. You can't do that for 90,000 people, although some people have tried to make a business out of it. Uh, but I'd encourage you to always take the call and always read the email and invest a few minutes to see who you might know. To that end, an executive recruiter or an executive at a company who doesn't envision putting you in a role in the next couple of months, it's pretty unlikely that they're gonna be able to invest the time. And that is nothing personal. Headhunters have this reputation for being pretty rude and some of them are. Uh, I always try to acknowledge uh, uh, you know, inbound in inquiries, but sometimes it's impossible even for me to keep up and I've got a hugely automated system. Uh, so we, we have difficulty just carving out the time during the day or evenings or weekends because uh, it's an around the clock role to make time giving career advice, getting to know people. If we really don't envision uh, working on an engagement or research in the short term. And so I guess the straight talk is don't take it personally. Know that you have done nothing wrong. There is nothing probably that you can do to change that other than beginning to build a relationship over time. And again, the best way to do that is by helping a recruiter solve a search.